The Insights Builder helps you build metrics without needing advanced SQL knowledge. Michelle Hansley, a technical marketer for Northern Trail Outfitters, has been asked to create an email promoting a new high-end line of tents for the retailer's top spenders. Let's follow along with Michelle as she builds this insight in the builder. First, she needs to find out which customers have spent the most money to date based on the data in Customer Data Platform. In Customer Data Platform, Michelle navigates to the Calculated Insights tab. She clicks New and then selects Create with Builder. Since Michelle is looking for historical data, she selects Calculated Insight and then from the Builder interface, selects Objects. Since Michelle is interested in data about customers, she wants to start her query using the object that stores her most recent customer data. In this case, it's the Unified Individual Object. With this in mind, Michelle searches for the Unified Individual Object, selects it, and then clicks Next. On the Builder screen, Michelle clicks the plus sign next to Unified Individual to view her options. Since Michelle needs to include sales data to identify customer purchases, she selects Join. However, before she can join the Unified Individual to Sales order, she first needs to connect the Unified Individual DMO to a link or bridge DMO. This helps make a connection between sales data and individual customers. To do this, Michelle searches for Unified Link Individual, selects it, and then clicks Next. Since Michelle wants to find data matches that are only found in the unified individual object, she selects a left join. Now she needs to select a foreign key that connects the data objects together. She clicks on the plus sign and selects individual ID from the unified individual dropdown. Then she selects unified individual ID from the unified link dropdown. This step connects customer identifiers from both objects. Then Michelle selects a required prefix to avoid naming conflicts in the data and to aid in identification. She adds bridge and then clicks apply. She then repeats these join steps to add in the sales order DMO. Let's review. After finding sales order DMO, she selects it and then clicks next. She selects an inner join, this time to find data matches in both objects. She then needs to identify how the data objects connect together. She clicks on the plus sign and selects individual ID looking for the bridge prefix, from the Unified Individual dropdown. Then she selects Sold to Customer ID from the Sales Order dropdown. Finally, Michelle selects a required prefix and then clicks Apply. Now that she has joined the data she needs, she clicks the plus sign next to Join and selects Aggregate. In this step, Michelle selects what she wants to measure, total customer spend, and how she wants to group the data, by customer and date. To do this, she clicks the plus sign under Measures and then Sum. She chooses Grand Total Amount and then clicks Next. To complete these steps, she names this metric Total Customer Spend and then clicks Apply. For the dimensions, she clicks the plus sign to search for Customer ID. After selecting it, she clicks Next, names the field, and clicks Apply. She repeats this step to add another dimension for Created Date. Now that she has all her desired fields and components, she is ready to save her insight. She clicks Save and then names the insight Total Customer Spend by Date. Once saved and processed, Michelle can use her insight to help create an audience segment for her upcoming email tent campaign.